These are the Israeli settler youths at the center of the most recent concern about violence on the West Bank. In an olive grove outside Hebron, they're filmed cornering a Palestinian photographer, beating and kicking him. When a colleague comes to his aid, they turn on him too. Minutes later, a British human rights activist is punched in the face trying to retrieve the photographer's equipment. Making matters worse, say the woman and other activists, the Israeli army did nothing to intervene or arrest the settlers. The soldiers made no attempt whatsoever. They saw, they must have seen some of what was happening, but they made no attempt to stop the settlers. Elsewhere in the West Bank, there are more complaints of settler intimidation. For the last couple of days, there's been problems with violence here and people have been arrested. There's been a lot, and, and we got here this morning, there were tens of settlers up here. Palestinians here say a mob of settlers tried to threaten them off their land, but told us they're determined to keep harvesting their olives. If I go to Britannia and I want your house, you give me it? Of course you don't give me it. And we don't give our lands to anybody. The olive picking season is always a volatile time, but this year it coincides with growing militancy on the part of Israeli settlers in the West Bank. This is the backdrop to the current tension, a rampage by settlers through a Palestinian village near the settlement of Yitzhar, in retaliation for the stabbing of a nine-year-old settler child. The footage shows soldiers present, but apparently not taking action to restrain the settlers. Palestinians say settlers have been destroying their olive trees and property during this harvest and accuse Israeli authorities of doing too little to protect them.